Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you are healthy and safe at your home. I am Saloni and the topic for today's video is anagrams. So we need to find if two strings are anagram of each other. But what is an anagram? So two strings, string 1 and string 2 are said to be anagrams of each other if both the strings use the same character and in the same quantity. So in our example, the string 1 is rail safety and the string 2 is fairy tale. They are both anagrams because they have the same characters and in the same quantity only the sequence or arrangement of characters have changed. So the important point to note here is that the arrangement can change. So in order to understand the problem statement better, let's build the character map for each of these strings and compare them with each other. So the first string is rail safety and the string 2 is fairy tale. So here we will be building the care map. So here we are writing how many occurrence of a particular character has occurred till now. So if you have gone through my previous video that is the max care problem there I have explained in detail how we build the character map and how we write the function for the same. So I would recommend that if you haven't gone through that video then you can check that out. It would be provided in the i button above and also in the description down below. So you can check that out for more clarity. So we will be going over two solutions to this problem. The first one is easier to arrive at if you have watched my previous video. By the end of this video, I would be also sharing a simple solution to this question which you can only arrive at if you have watched the solution at least once. So we have built the character map here, string 1 and string 2. Now we will be comparing each of these character maps to see if they match or not. So R has occurred one time, A two time, L one time, I one time. So each of the group is matching with the other group. So we can say that string 1 and string 2 are anagrams. So let's start with step 1. So step 1 would be removing all the punctuation and spaces or any other special character and doing the case conversion from upper to lower case. So this was a take home exercise for my previous video that was the max care problem. So if you were able to arrive at the solution that's very good and if you were not then that's not an issue because now we are going to solve the same. In order to solve this you must be aware of the regular expressions. Regular expressions are nothing but patterns that are used to match character combinations in the string. So the regular expression which we will be using in our solution would be slash w. So slash w matches any alphanumeric character from the basic latin alphabet including the underscore. It's equivalent to a to z in capital letters, a to z in small case and 0 to 9. Now let's test this in a code playground that is the js freedom. Here we can test individual lines of code independently. So here we will be using the slash w and slash g to replace all the occurrences of any special character or spaces with a space. So as you can see the exclamation after everyone has been replaced with the space. If we give any other character here such as a question mark then the spaces and the exclamation mark would be replaced with the question mark. For our solution we need it to be replaced with simply nothing. So we just want to remove the punctuation, special characters and the space. So we will give a blank and it will be as per our expectation. Also note that we are using a replace function to do the same. Now in order to convert them to lower or upper case, we will be using the dot to lower case or dot to upper case to arrive at the same. And our output would be converted to lower case and it would be displayed as per our expectation be kept as a step 2 of our solution and the step 1 would be building the care map. 
or the care builder function so instead of building the character map for each of these two strings we can have a function named as care builder and then we can pass a string to that care builder function to generate a care map so we will be passing an input string as a parameter to our care builder function to generate the care map and the key here as i explained in my previous video is to convert the string to object and then based on the key value pair of that object we can see if the character has occurred how many times and what would be the care map for that object so here for each of the characters of the input string we will check if the character has already occurred in an object once if it has then we will be incrementing its value with one else we will be assigning a value one to the character so this way we will be building a care map for the input string lastly we will be returning the final care map object from the function now for our step 2 we will be taking two strings string a and string b as input and we will be generating a clean string from them by removing the special characters and converting them to a lower case we will be using the same regular expression here which we saw on our js fidel playground to convert the strings and create a clean string a and string b from the input string now for step 3 we will be calling the string a and string b with the care builder function to compare or rather the clean string a and string b with the care builder function and the returned value we will be storing in two constants object string a and object string b so these will be the final care maps for string a and string b we will be comparing these two constants object string a and object string b to finally arrive at our solution whether the two strings are anagram or not and finally our step 4 would be returning true if both the strings are anagram else false so one of the basic and simple trick to check if two strings are anagram is to compare their length if the length of two strings don't match then they can never be anagram in our case since we are creating objects out of the strings and we are using the key value pair so we will be comparing the length of keys if the length of keys of two string match then we can proceed further on to check whether they are anagram if they don't match then at that point we know that they are not anagrams Now to keep our code even more organized and clean let's put the step 2 3 and 4 inside a function called anagrams and we will be passing the string a and string b as a parameter to that function for step 4 we will be comparing the length of objects of string a and string b first and we'll be returning a false if they are not equal then we will be taking each character from string a and then comparing it with the same character in string b if they don't match then again we'll be returning a false and finally we'll be returning a true if both the care maps are equal and match for each of the above cases now in order to check our result we will be writing a rail safety first in string a since rail safety first and fairy tale do not match we get a result as false now if we remove the first from the first string then they are equal and we will be getting a true now this was one way of solving the anagram problem now we will be looking into the second solution to the same question so for that let's comment out the solution one first for a second solution we will be using the array dot sort method so the basic idea here is to sort the string 1 and string 2 and then compare the same we will be again generating the clean string with the regular expression and by converting it to lower case then we will be using a split method to split each character of the clean string and then applying the sort method on the splitted string and then joining them back to get the final result now for another function anagram we will be passing a string a and string b as input strings to them in order to compare the same
and we will be returning the clean string A if it's equal to the clean string B. Now in order to check our solution, let's do the same step as in our solution 1. We will be taking two input strings and passing it as a parameter to anagram, storing that value in a result and then printing it to the console. As you can see, the output was displayed as true and if we add is everything, we get a false. So this is the second solution to solve our anagram problem. This one is simple, but it's trickier to arrive at since we are using so many methods which might not come across your mind when you are suddenly seeing this question. So that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new today. If you found this video informative and helpful then don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to bring more such informative videos to your table. And see you next time. Bye.